Hello, I'm Danielle, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice, and with respect to guidance, advice. Uh, when you're starting to become observant, whether you're a, a convert, you're a Gare, or a Balchuva, someone who's returning to Judaism, and you're starting to be religious again, you make uh, a promise that you're not going to do something, and you make a mistake. You're going to keep kosher, and you try, and you make a wonderful, beautiful uh, meal with like chicken or something like that, and without thinking, at the end of the meal, so proud of yourself, you have a cup of coffee with cream. Aye. Don't beat yourself up. Learn from your mistakes. Don't give up. And uh, similarly with uh, Lashon Hara. Wicked speech, malicious gossip. It's a big curse these days. You make a vow to yourself, I am not going to do any malicious gossip. and I'm not going to talk about anyone in a bad way. I'm not going to denigrate anybody. I'm not going to tell embarrassing stories about a person. Later that afternoon... Oh, did you hear about so-and-so, uh, what he said? That's nothing. Wait till I tell you what this... Lashonara. You made a promise to yourself. You made a promise to Hashem that you weren't going to do that anymore. And there you are, beaking off about somebody else. You feel bad. So, what happens in a situation when you find that you've made a, a resolution to be careful about something, and then you fail to keep it? You become discouraged, and you feel like quitting. What do you do? Well, on the subject of, of um, Lashon Hara, we go, as we often do, to the Chofetz Chaim. This was a very big issue for him. Shmir Saloshin, guarding your tongue. Very huge, the Chofetz Chaim was on the subject. So what does he say? If you do forget to be careful and are guilty of speaking Lashon Hara, malicious gossip, do tshuva. That is... Regret what you've done wrong and accept upon yourself to improve in the future. Never allow a mistake to stop you from keeping your resolution. Rabbi Zeli Pleskin goes further and comments on this. Rabbi Pleskin says, Sometimes when people make mistakes, they say to themselves, Ah, this proves that I am so inferior that I will never reach high levels. Therefore, I give up. But that is like making uh, a, mi a mistake in arithmetic, arithmetic while doing financial calculations and then saying to yourself, oh, since I made a mistake, I quit. I'm not going to use an eraser or any other means of correcting the mistake. I'm just going to give up. Anybody who uses uh, a typewriter or a word processor um, knows how easy it is when you're on a keyboard, you make typographical errors, you make typos. But as soon as you notice the error, you can correct it. So too with the words we speak. If you make a mistake, do tshuva, repent, turn yourself around, do what's right. Do tshuva and work on correcting as much as you possibly can. Um, this is something that's a very, very important issue, especially when uh, talking online. Words of Lush and Hara can spread across the world in an instant. We have to guard our tongues. But the, the bottom line here is, regardless of what the vow is, regardless of what mitzvah, what commandment, what, what thing you want to do to improve yourself, if you make a mistake, don't be discouraged. Don't give up. That's the Yetzirah talking. That's the little inclina uh, evil inclination, a little devil on your shoulder. Ah, oh, give up. You can't do it. He doesn't say, speak Lush and Hara, it's really fun. No, he's far too clever. He knows you more than you know yourself. So why? Because it is yourself. That little devil, that's you. And uh, he discourages you. Don't be discouraged. Don't give up. You try it. You say, well, I made a mistake. I'm going to improve myself. I'm going to try. And... Um, I, make, I may make other mistakes, but I won't make that one again. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding uh, some benefit of these videos. And until next time, on behalf of the Amona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.